Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we're aboard a new listing, a 1999 Hylus 49 here in Ladner, BC on the mighty Fraser River. Come on aboard, we'll take you through the boat and around the deck and I'll show you all around. Starting forward, we have a dual anchoring system, double bow rollers, uh, oversized rock out of port and a delta on starboard. Uh, lead back to a large Maxwell electric windlass and access to road in the uh, forward chain locker. The boat's set up as a cutter rig. As you can see, the uh, inner forestay is in stowage mode here. There's a, a pelican hook to attach it to the uh, to its its uh, tang right here, just aft of the anchor locker. A lot of boats here on the coast that are cutters by design are more manageable as a just a large sloop, and that's how the, this boat is set up right now. Although it is equipped with its head sail, its stay sail, and the main. So the main is in mass furling, and there's an electric motor on the furler, all controlled in the, from in the cockpit. On the mast, we have a whisker pole, spinnaker pole on a track, Raymarine Ray Dome, and active radar reflector and a loud hailer. Halyard winches here on the on the mast. Moving aft, there's a full enclosure. Got a nice winter cover over top of the cockpit right now. It's early March 2021. Boat still showing a little winter green, but the taps will be turned back on on the uh, the dock here and and uh, the wash pretty soon. This is a nice feature of this boat. This is a newer addition. This uh, custom arch and davit system. It functions as a crane as well. There's a pivot point down low and these arms together as a separ separate arch they lower the dinghy away from the boat boom it out away from the from the stern and then lock and pulley to lower it to the water large swim steps with storage below locker space here in the corners of the aft deck a couple of pulpit seats there Main is sheeted to a traveler aft of the helm and then to an electric winch. And the head sail uh, primary winches are electric as well, either side of the cockpit. Large stainless Lumar 64s and 48, size 48. Uh, secondary winches, which are a two-speed self-tailing winch, and again the primary is electric with controls inside the combing on either side of the cockpit. And these are the controls for the mainsail in and out, and then electric winch as well. Give you a quick visual of the helm. Second redundant uh, radio and loud hailer and bow thruster controls all here at the helm engine panel and then plotter multi-repeater and autopilot controls nice. Note the additional windows in the bimini 
uh, to give that, uh, better sight lines. The owner's fairly tall. The boat suits well for for uh, folks who are 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 need a little bit extra headroom. And let's take a tour down below. A 32 inch flat screen was added by the current owners. The boat has been a um, Canadian registered vessel since 2007. Meaning for any uh, potential Canadian buyers watching this video that the import duty has been paid. There's no additional duties on the boat. Um, sales tax will apply, but uh, the boat has already been Im imported into Canada. Uh, it's been stored here, well moored here. This is uh, at the current owner's slip on the Fraser River, so it's fr a freshwater slip. And they've owned the boat since 2014. And so, so it's been here on this dock um, when they're not out cruising since uh, 2014. The current owners have added a new uh, Novacool refrigeration and freezer systems. So this is a top loader with front load access. There's a three burner propane stove and oven. It's a Force 10. There's the 110 volt uh, AC microwave. And nice dual sinks on the center line of the boat. We'll get to the engine room, but it's accessed in this central area. The engine lives underneath the central uh, counter space with access points all, all around. Um, one little Nice little custom feature is a little spice cabinet, spice rack. And in here, taking through some of the system. So it has an EFOI, so that's a methanol, um, methanol generator basically, topping up your batteries. Uh, it's, it's an automatic system. It, it, comes on when the uh, when the uh, the battery's voltage drops to a certain level. Um, of course, the boat's plugged into shore power, which can be 30 amp or 50 amp, and it has over 500 watts of solar power as well. So it's with that combined with the water maker, this boat really does support an off the grid style cruising. The aft cabin is definitely one of the sought after, fe sought after features of this center cockpit design. Um, beautiful Sparkman and Stevens designed yacht. So tons of headroom in here, plenty of comfort for the uh, for the owners. Access to the, uh, the water maker is down in through here I believe. Sorry about the dim lighting. Um, if there's a light going on in here. Um, so there's access to the water maker. And so if not through the galley, another access to the um, fore and aft access through to the aft cabin and through the salon is through the one of the heads. This is the aft head. That we're in, we're on the port side of the boat, looking forward. So it's a combination or integrated shower in a wet head, as some might describe. One feature of this year's model, this is again in 1999, is the forward-facing nav station. Other Hylas 49s have a an outboard-facing nav station. So. Good access to all the controls and electrical panel. Um, again, access point to the to the engine, to the galley, even a um, a pass through uh, port light for communication to the helm, or 
passing up snacks from the galley. And nice arrangement of charts in the chart in the chart uh, drawer, chart cupboard. one of the access points to the engine. There's the efoy in the back there. And this is a, a Yanmar and a 55 horse, I believe. I will double check on the specs. There's a double dual fuel filter, which I'll show you around the front here. So on the forward, just behind the companionway ladder, another access point. into the engine of your dual ray core fuel filter system and further access to the engine and then again there's access over from the, the starboard side from the galley side The central bench there is on rails and does slide back out into the saloon to add more seating for the for the dining table. And lots of natural light and ventilation into the uh, main salon. Moving forward, there's two guest cabins forward. There's two single bunks, up and down bunks. This setup is nice with the three cabins. Good family boat. Can have a good number of guests comfortably aboard. And a large bee berth forward. Overhead hatch, nice and bright, lots of stowage. And hanging lockers to the side. There's the forward head accessible as an ensuite to the forward cabin which I'm standing in. And there's another access door into the hallway that we just passed through. Again, an integrated shower. And as in 1999, this is a boat that is in beautiful condition. Benefit, benefited well from its owners over the years. And then back up to the cockpit. Hey, well, thanks guys. Thanks for taking a tour of this Hylus 49 that's listed for sale with Swisher Yachts um, in Ladner, BC. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the, on the video. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting other videos of new and upcoming listings. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.